Since Steven left, things have been better here. I don't really like him much because we just don't get along. He's a big bully that just tortured me all day. But now I can do what I want, which is mostly play games because I don't go out. So I'm happy with how things are except for my weight. Justin Asante is a 27-year-old from Rhode Island who weighs 604 pounds, and he's been through quite a journey with Dr. Now, especially because of his dysfunctional relationship with his brother, Stephen. One, two, three. I want to meet the doctor as well because I want help with my weight. While Stephen tried to be supportive of his brother's weight loss journey in the beginning. Justin, I hear from your father that you no longer are interested in any help. Yeah. Let's uh, check your weight today. So if you come back here and you lost 50 pounds, I will consider you for weight loss surgery if you change your mind. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he ultimately realized that he had to put himself first. Justin has been refusing treatment so far, and his father has not given me update in his weight, which means this is not important for them. After leaving Houston, Justin had promised Dr. Now that he would continue his weight loss treatment back home, but things didn't exactly work out. I'm really excited today because we are finally opening up my hobby store. A little bit of spray paint, you should be all golden. It feels really good to start a career in a business like this. To distract himself from losing weight, Justin started up a business. I know I haven't been good to him, and I really want him to try and get weight loss surgery too. I just want to apologize for everything I put you through in the past. And I will earn your forgiveness. You have to, that's the only way you get it back. I'm not sure if I can believe anything Steven says because he has mood swings, he has different personalities. It depends on which Steven he is today. On the other hand, as Steven continued to progress, he tried to mend his relationship with his brother. I think when you come down here, I'm gonna check your weight, then hopefully when I see you, you'll be under 560, okay? Okay. Dr. Now is right about me not wanting to end up like Steven. So I've been trying to stick to his program to stop losing weight. Dr. Now wants me to get to the lower 500s before I go to Houston and see him. Then he'll approve me for weight loss surgery. Soon after that, something clicked, and Justin restarted the program with Dr. Now. I'm hoping I lost 60, 70 pounds, and I'm hoping that I get approved for my surgery. You gained 43 pounds in past year. Yeah. Justin hasn't been honest with me or himself this past year about his eating habits. Since I got back from seeing Dr. Now in Houston, I've made more drastic changes to my diet, and I'm not making any exceptions to Dr. Now's program. Now, while Stephen worked hard enough to get approved for the weight loss surgery, Justin decided to travel with his father to Houston to check where he stood. But Dr. Now said if I get approved for weight loss surgery, that it would be at least six months to a year that I would need to be down there so that he could look after me. So I've just been working real hard for the past couple of months to get to the goal he wants so I can get approved. I just thought it was time to stop making excuses and just get it done. So I've been doing Dr. Now's diet, and I've been making sure I stay active and get the exercise I need. He said I need to walk every day, but taking care of my star keeps me really active. However, Justin had gained weight instead of losing it. But one year and seven months after his first ever meeting with Dr. Now, for the first time, Justin has started getting serious about working on his health. Me and my dad are headed back to Houston next week. So I'm just trying to get everything ready and I'm making sure my store has enough inventory. So I'm hoping Dr. Now might consider letting me go back early. I don't really want to be away from home that long. And I don't want to be around my brother, Steven. We're cordial to each other right now. But me and Steven's relationship is very strained and it'll probably never change. Justin is hoping that all of his efforts pay off and the doctor finally approves him for weight loss surgery. And with everything Steven has done to me in the past, I just don't think we'll ever be that close. And I still have a hard time trusting him because out of nowhere, he'll just say all these horrible things and go crazy. And I'm tired of it. So I just don't want to be around him that much. But I plan on staying in Houston until the doctor tells me I can go home. Not to mention that Justin is also anxious about having to come face to face with his brother, Steven, since things are still pretty tense between them. I'm almost ready to move to Houston and see the doctor. What are you seeing doctor now for? Probably to get surgery. You having surgery? Really? If I hit my goal and he approves me. But I have to get tested first. Do you want me to be there? I don't know yet. Okay. I'm looking forward to you to come down here. I'm probably not going to like it. It's too hot. It's Texas. Welcome. There are a lot of things I'm not looking forward to right now. And there's a part of me that just wants to forget about going down. And I'm not happy Steven's going to be around because I know he's going to try to annoy me.
but I know I need Dr. Nell's help, and I want to get my life back on track. But despite that, Justin has been making an effort to stay in touch with him. However, Justin's priority right now is losing weight. Today, me and my dad are moving to Houston, and I'm hoping to be approved for weight loss surgery. My son, Justin, decided he wants to get the surgery. So now I got to head back to Houston again. And I'm hoping I can get Justin to go over and see him, just to see all the progress that Steven has made and how much the surgery will help. But I don't know about Justin going to see Steven a lot, because they still just don't get along. After months of sticking to Dr. Now's diet, Justin is now ready to head over to Houston to see whether what he's done has been enough. The last two times I went down to Houston were for my brother, but this time I'm going down for myself. It's around a 30-hour drive, and we'll have to break it up over a couple of days to get from Rhode Island to Texas. So I'm not looking forward to the drive. And I don't like the idea of being in the same city as my brother. My appointment with Dr. Now is in a week. So that gives me enough time to get to Houston and to try and get settled somewhere. Of course, there's a lot to be nervous about, but Justin is ready to take this leap of faith. Yeah. What? Excuse me, I want to get something to eat. All right, do me a favor. Save the minutes. Yeah. Quit calling me. Um, okay, don't forget. Yeah, bye. I will forget. Bye. I can't believe he's asking for food again. He just ate two hours ago. But Justin knows this is going to be a long ride. He's done it already about three times, so he knows what to expect. Being on the road brings up a lot of bad memories for Justin, but he's ready for it. We've been on the road for three days, but we finally made it to Houston. And I'm just looking forward to getting into the hotel and resting. My dad wants us to go see Stephen, but I'm not interested in that right now. For now, I just want to rest and get ready to go see Dr. Now. My appointment's in two days, and I want to get settled so I can find something healthy to eat. Three days later, Justin and his dad have finally made it to Houston, and of course, he's exhausted. Steve. What? You know I'm not gonna visit you, right? I don't give a He don't care. Such a kid, you're a real Anyway, I'm not gonna be at the hospital. You're not getting my support. I don't give a flying How's that? To be quite frank with you. All right. I really don't wanna open my door, and rightfully so, I don't have to. No all right, all right, all right, let me go. So you want to stop that? We'll stop. I want to punch you. You don't think it hurts your feelings when you say like that? Don't hurt your feelings like that, kid. But things take a turn for the worse when Justin and Steven get into a spat, when Justin confesses that he doesn't want to go and visit his brother. You choose to be fat. All right? And that's not the end of it. Because when his father starts telling Justin how sick he is of his sons fighting like that, Justin starts getting physical with him too. I understand his older brother did torture him when he was a kid, but I feel once both of these boys lose this weight, I think they'll get a little closer and closer together. You know their mom was never there for them, and I'm not gonna live forever. So they might not realize it, but they need each other. Their father hopes that they will find a way to resolve their issues, especially now that they're both going through a similar health journey. But can that really happen? I mean, you know, if Justin goes through with the surgery, that would be good on his end. I think it's important and I think he needs to, he needs to get the surgery so he will live a long, healthy life. Yeah, but do you have any suggestions for him after the surgery? Like what to expect? Well, don't expect to eat the way he used to. Now, I know you and your brother don't get along. Yeah, well, we kind of do. It's yes, just, well, well, when he's up to it. He's don't... just frustrated, and I think it'll be better once he starts to lose weight. Yeah. The next day, Justin and Steven's father head over to Steven's place alone, and the two strike up a conversation about Justin. Me and my dad are headed to see Dr. Now for my appointment. I'm really hoping I get approved for weight loss surgery today. When Dr. Now told me I had the same BMI as Steven, and technically, because of his lymphedema and fluid in his body with that, I have more fat on my body than him. That got my attention. So I've been working really hard to do Dr. Now's diet and lose all the weight. Last appointment, I had gained and gotten up to 647. And Dr. Now told me I should be losing about 30 pounds a month if I'm sticking to the diet. And now it's time for Justin to face the music and step on the scales. And it's been two months. So that means I need to be below 587 today. I don't know how I gained. And I'm guessing this means I'm not getting approved today. And all this travel down here was for nothing. 
Sadly, despite all of Justin's big claims, he hasn't lost any weight at all. In fact, he's gained four additional pounds. So it looks like you gained a little, and today you are at 6.51. Last time I saw you, you were four pounds less. So what's going on? No idea. I thought you said you're doing good with your diet and you're doing more exercise, walking and all that stuff. I haven't been eating much. And of course, the doctor isn't too happy about that. And the problem is the portion size. Because what he's eating is supporting being almost 600 pounds. And Justin is eating less because his weight gain has slowed. You multiply your weight by 10 to get the amount of calories you need to eat to maintain your weight on average but he need to eat what support around 200 pounds. Yeah. And he need to stick to 1,200 calories a day to get there. So it's simple math. Now, while Justin is claiming that he's cut out all of the unhealthy meals from his diet, the doctor doesn't seem to be convinced right now. I'm happy to see that Justin is at least trying this time because he's not gaining as rapidly as he was. But he's still eating far more than he should in a day. So as hard as he feels like he's trying, he still needs to work a lot harder. And until he does that, we're not moving ahead with surgery. After listening to Justin, the doctor makes it very clear that he needs to get serious about his diet. And if he doesn't do it now, it'll be too late. Justin didn't get the surgery and that was disappointing. And I'm hoping I can convince him to stick around and keep trying. But if I can just get him to come see Steven, even for a minute, then he can see how good he looks and how much weight he's losing. And I know he's going to want that for himself. The next day, Stephen is heading over to see Dr. Now with his father, who hopes that the two brothers will agree to see each other just to have someone to relate to during all this. I can't believe he lost 100 pounds, and that poor kid hasn't been in the 500s since he was 18 years old. But I just want my boys to be okay and to be a family. And I think once Justin hears about Stephen's progress, he will want to come to see it for himself. And I know he'll be happy for Stephen. Their father thinks that Steven's progress can serve as motivation for Justin to do better and beat him at the game. And as unhealthy as that is, at least it'll work. My dad told me that before I decide anything, he wants me to go see Steven so I can see how much weight the surgery has helped him lose and how good he looks. Steven's cat has been getting sick so my dad took it to the vet and they told him she's not eating the right food. I think Steven is probably feeding her pizza. And well, thankfully, Justin agrees to visit his brother and see what the future can hold for him if he makes the same progress as Steven. Hi. No, I, take this cat food. It's for your cat. You keep that cat alive. It's special food. Don't eat it right now. John, just let me in. Goodbye. In the beginning, Steven refuses to open the door when he realizes that his brother is there to see him. <laughs> You're getting skinnier and skinnier the more I look at you. Can I ask you one question? What the f did you do to your hair? I took the initiative, and one night it was uh, so hot in Texas, and I wanted to shave right. it off myself, and tomorrow, I, and I it up. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to come here, and I'm going to fix it. But he caves in eventually. I'm really happy that you're taking Dr. Niles' help, and it is a very, 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 very good thing that you are, because if you didn't, you would die soon. And I would have died soon, too. But now look at me. So I'm losing a lot of weight. I know. Anything crossing your mind, positive or negative? No. However, the tension in the room can be cut with a knife. After the surgery, I hope things go well for you when you recover. And I hope that we can repair our relationship soon. It's going to take a while to rebuild. OK? And we may never rebuild. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I do love my brother. I just hope he really does get the surgery because this surgery is definitely going to save Justin's life. And I want to support Justin through this process the way he's been supporting me throughout the whole entire process when I first had my surgery. So it's only fair that I do the same thing for him. You have to give it to Steven, though, because he's the one who breaks the ice and starts offering his brother advice for his weight loss journey. After seeing Steven, I gave it a lot of thought and talked it over with my dad. And I made the decision to stay down in Houston and try to get my surgery one more time. Okay. I know my dad really wants me to do this too. So I told him I'd give it one more month, but I'm only doing this one more time. And if I don't do it this time, I can't be down here for longer and I have to go back. But I called Dr. Now to see if I can see him sooner because I can't wait two additional months to do this. 
the conversation was all Justin needed to be convinced to stay in Houston. But he wants to have the surgery now instead of waiting two months for it as per Dr. Now's plan. I've been keeping track of what I eat a lot better. I didn't realize how much I was actually eating before. So if I don't do this, the next time, I'm done. I just can't spend any more time down here. Because if I ever get approved, I would still need to be down here for six more months. But Justin wants to make sure to hit his weight goal at the same time, so he's working really hard to make sure that he proves how serious he is about this to the doctor. Justin has his reasons for being really upset with me. The first spot is he will be completely happy when I'm drug free. Okay. And he's going to be frustrated with you until you're clean. Pretty much. Number two, he keeps saying for 18 years, every single day, I used to beat on him. What do you remember? There were moments when I did push him. How do you feel about that now? It's motivational to get, want to get better. One of the things people do when they get clean mm -hmm. is they make amends. Yeah, well, I can you know only try. On the other hand, Stephen heads over to therapy to talk about his relationship with Justin and how to fix it once and for all. Well, but I kind of think that if you were able to sincerely apologize, which I don't think you're there yet, but if you could make a sincere amends, um, it would be an important step for you in moving forward. If you actually found the regret and the empathy for him, I think you'd treat him better, and I think it would make you have a better relationship with him and other people too. And the therapist gives Stephen a reality check about his own role in the situation. In the session, I talked about my brother and hopefully make an amends with him in the near future. I did bully him a lot in the past. Well, I do own up to that. I think he's holding on to that grudge. Will he let it go? Yeah, I think he will one day. Once he can trust me. Thankfully, Stephen now sees what he needs to do if he ever wants things to go back to normal with his brother. Me and my dad are headed back for another appointment with Dr. Now and to find out if I'm approved for weight loss surgery. But hopefully I didn't lose the weight that Dr. Now was expecting. It's now time for Justin to head back over to Dr. Now to see if he has lost weight. And if he hasn't, that's going to be it for Justin. At my last appointment, I had gotten up to 651. And Dr. Now said if I had lost 40 pounds in a month that he would approve me for weight loss surgery. That means I need to be below 6'11 today. Before that, though, it's time for the moment of truth. I'm very happy. Seeing that number come up on the scale was a huge relief. It was very important that I had to go on. Now, hopefully, I'll be approved for surgery. And thankfully, Justin has managed to lose a lot of weight this time. But will the doctor give him the OK? Do you see the difference in what you can do if you stick to the diet? Yes. All right, we're gonna improve you for weight loss surgery, okay? Awesome. All right, man. Here you go, see? Awesome. Finally. I'm very happy to see Justin finally showing some determination and hard work. And if he continues to make progress over the next month and does what he needs, then I'm confident he's ready for his weight loss surgery. But if he doesn't keep the liquid diet for the first month, it can be very dangerous and cause significant damage so I want him to show me he can do these things first. But it's great to see the progress he's currently made. The doctor was happy that I lost that much weight. And I know that once I get this surgery, I'm gonna be able to lose a lot more weight. Now, while the doctor has approved Justin for the surgery, he wants Justin to continue to lose weight and start a completely liquid diet. I'm a little worried right now. Justin's surgery is tomorrow, but he locked himself in his room and I know him, he's getting scared. And if he changes his mind and quits now, then he's gonna lose everything. What's the matter? He don't wanna see the doctor. Justin, what's going on? I'm stressed. I know you're stressed. Just, can I come in? Go ahead, you go in, he won't let me in. He doesn't like he's you. He's mad at me. What's going on, babe? A year and nine months since the Asante brothers began their journey with Dr. Now, it's the night before Justin's surgery, but he doesn't seem to be all that excited about it. So his dad had to call in help. We're close to the finish line. You can do this, Justin. You have the, the, the willpower, you have the self-control, you have. You can do this. I know you can. You got this? Yeah. You got this? Yeah. You know I'm gonna make you say it. You got this? I got it. You do? Yeah. I hear you. I can't hear you. I got it. it. 
Thankfully, Justin seems to be comfortable talking to his friend about how he's feeling, and that helps him calm his nerves down. I'm here at the hospital to get my weight loss surgery, and I'm still really scared. In fact, I think I'm more scared now than I was last night. But Tony and my dad convinced me that I need to move ahead with this. So I'm really glad I have them. It's finally the day of Justin's long-awaited surgery, and of course he's extremely nervous. But he also knows that he needs to do this. You know, uh, I'm at the hospital with your brother, right? Yeah, I'm not going there. Oh, you're not gonna go? No, he didn't support me. Oh, that's a lot of walking, Dad, you know? Yeah, I'll let you know. All right, bye. bye. I get a lot more confident now with Justin because Steven made it through the surgery, and I think Justin's gonna do very well. You know, it's just gonna be nerve-wracking waiting. Unfortunately, his brother isn't there, which stresses out their father a lot. Let's start. And I'm doing a sleeve instead of a bypass because I'm concerned a more aggressive procedure, like a full bypass, would put too much strain on his body. Justin is still almost 600 pounds. So it's going to be very difficult to breathe for him because there's a heavy chest and abdomen. So we need to finish this operation as soon as possible so he won't stay under anesthesia too long because he won't tolerate that very well. The procedure begins, and the doctor is concerned about putting too much strain on Justin's body. We took out the stomach, so we will get him to recovery, and he should be able to go home in a few days. And if he stays on track, Justin should be able to lose 30 pounds over the next month. And then after that, he will be able to lose at least 20 pounds a month until he gets close to his target weight. We keep him in ICU for overnight, make sure that he wears off the anesthetic and he can breathe okay and he's not having any issues. Then tomorrow we get him up on the floor, but tonight also we get him up walking and he can have some liquid too. The procedure goes well and the doctor is hopeful about Justin's recovery. And while he thinks that Stephen could offer Justin a lot of support through this, after having been through the same thing, even he knows that's not easy. I went and got Stephen and I'm taking him to see Justin so they can both talk about the surgery. Justin said he doesn't want his brother there. And I think he just don't want to admit that he does. And now that he had the surgery, I think a lot of stress will be off of him. So he'll calm down and start to talk to Stephen. A day after the procedure, Justin and Stephen's father has had enough, and he thinks that it's time for the brothers to see each other. I feel good, but my father tells me he's bringing Stephen to see me. So I'm not looking forward to that, and I'm hoping he's not here for long. Hi, how are you? Good. That's how you feel, all right? Oh, that's right now, the drainage tubes. Yeah, when they take that out today? I don't know. How's the water going down when you take a sip? Good. You feel hungry? No. But to no one's surprise, Justin isn't really feeling it. They both talked and they didn't scream at each other. So I'm really in coverage right now. And I think Justin could see Steven's concern and that he wanted to come and see him. So I think this was a good step. Yes, we're gonna go, all right? All right. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right? All right. All right. Kiddo, 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 kid. Bye-bye. All right. I'll see you soon. Once Justin spends more time with Steven, he can start to forgive him for whatever he has against him. And while things are awkward in the beginning, the brothers start finding a lot of common ground eventually. But Justin still seems to harbor a lot of negative feelings about Steven. It's been a couple of weeks since my surgery, and I've been recovering in the hotel. I've been very careful about what I've been eating, and I've been only drinking liquids, and that's it. But other than that, I feel fine. The only problem I've had to deal with is Steven. Because a few days after I got home from the hospital, my father brought him over to force me to see him again. A few weeks after his surgery, Justin is back home and he's making sure to stick to Dr. Now's diet. But emotionally, he's had a lot to deal with. Fine. You want me to talk to him? Hey, John, you still abusing the drugs? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, and go yourself. Perfect. See how you feel? Nah, that's how I want you to You open your mouth again like that, just I swear to God. Why is he asking me a question like that? Because he knows how you are. You want to buy some of my drugs like you've been trying to do? Why are you starting his right? I don't want to talk to him. After Justin suspects Stephen of stealing his painkillers, things get extremely ugly. He's a junkie. I don't talk to junkies. No, but you want me to do a lot of things for you, but you won't do nothing for me. Yeah, how about you tell him how many pills you have? Gave him 10 of them. Yeah, whose pills were they? Yours. 
You should be working with him, helping him get off drugs, but yet you attack me and make him take drugs. Ain't no help getting him off drugs. I mean, come on, he had freaking 60 Viking in a week. Not even a week. He had, he had 30. I didn't have 30, I had around 60 left. Now he's going through withdrawal because he took them all already. But you should be talking to him to try to convince him to get off the drugs. And their father has had enough of it at this point. Demon's never gonna change, ever. Because he's still a bad person deep down. Even before he was on the drugs, he was still a bad person. So I don't want him in my life. And my focus right now is on getting my life together and to get healthy. And as far as I'm concerned, having Steven in my life isn't healthy. But Justin has his own reasons for not wanting anything to do with Steven. I hope they got two seats in that room. Yeah, they'll have two seats. It's going to be separate. If, if not, somebody's going to have to get up. I thought they'll have us in there as a family. Oh, I ain't doing that together. No, 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 Justin, don't make this out to get pissed off. Nope. A month after Justin's surgery, he eventually has to see Steven in person, and neither of the two brothers is happy about it. I don't want to be in the same car, same room with him. You know why? Because he beat the out of me every single day for 18 years. I beat the out of you for 18 years? Yeah, you did. You tried to draw me out of a car. You slammed my hand to the door. You punched me every single day. You grabbed me. That's Justin, why I can't stand being in the same room with every you. Every single day, Justin? Day. Every day. And what did you do to me? I did not to you. Really? What's this on my hand, Justin? You stabbed me once, right? Oh. But you forgot about that, though, didn't you? After years of pent-up frustration, Justin goes off on Steven in a fit of rage, who responds back with the same aggression. I'm supposed to be going to see Dr. Now for my next appointment. But my dad called. I told him that me and Steven would come in together for our appointment. And I had no idea. So once again, he's been trying to force me and Steven together. I feel tricked. After that, Justin refuses to see Dr. Now just because his father brought Steven along for his appointment. So what's going on between these two brothers? They don't get along, and they don't want to be seen together. Don't get me in the middle. That's Justin's. All right, tell Justin to come in and sit down, and we'll see him after. He's not going to do it. This is ridiculous. There's no reason he can't come in and wait until we're done with Steven. I'll ask him, but I know... No, 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 no. This is part of the problem. You just let these two do whatever they want. I argued with Justin on the way down here. No, 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 you, know what I mean? you, need, you, you need to, you don't go ask him. You tell him that you come in right now. You have no choice, okay? If you give him a choice, he's gonna act like that. And his father then has no choice but to tell Dr. Now about everything that's going on. And Dr. Now is not happy about that at all. I would ask how y'all doing, but I have an idea. All right, Stephen, we obviously have a couple of issues that we have to address. One is that you are 557 pounds today. Yes, sir. So that means after doing exceptionally well for the first two months, you started gaining again. And because Justin refuses to come in, the doctor begins his appointment with Stephen. In life, there is a, a limit between love and discipline. And that enables you to, to do whatever you want and get away with it. Yeah. But don't sit there and think by agreeing with me right now, you fool me into thinking that you're getting any better right now. And if you find anything in your system that is not supposed to be there, then this game is over for you. But even if you don't find anything, your weight gain is a big problem because we have done everything we can for you and you go into psychotherapy. Yeah. So that means the problem is simply, you just don't want to do what you need. Turns out that Justin told Dr. Now about Steven stealing his painkillers, and the doctor doesn't shy away from going hard on Steven about his lack of progress. Steven has done exceptionally well the first couple months after surgery, but once again, he's gone off the tracks. And if the tests come back and shows that there is anything in Steven's system that should not be there, especially painkillers, then we come to the end of the road with Steven. And as much as I know Justin is frustrated and hurt by his brother, there is absolutely no excuse for his behavior and for him missing his appointment like this. Dr. Now makes it very clear that the Asante brothers need a lot of therapy to deal with their issues, since they keep coming in the way of their weight loss. After the last doctor's disappointment, Justin said he was done. Come on, guys. Once he got a cab, he left the doctor's office and made up his mind and was partially packed up before I got home. 
three days later, Justin is ready to pack his bags and leave. I'm not staying in the same city as Stephen for another minute. I know that this means I can't get Dr. Mal's help and that he's not happy with me, but I don't care. I want Stephen out of my life and my father isn't gonna respect that. So I'm not letting him have the chance to trick me into seeing him again. And as soon as I lose the weight and get on my own, there'll be no one to try to force me to talk to him. And Steven's not looking so great either, with his possible relapse into addiction. However, when it comes to Justin's health, aside from the surgery, it doesn't look like he has done anything else to get better. 